welcome guys welcome back to the channel today we are here to do the second part of the chapter 11 which is the mid chapter questions today we are going to solve the questions on page number 190 mm, so keep your focus on these questions because these are so easy questions if you have not gone through my last video which is about the full summary of the chapter so go through that video because it will get easier for you to understand all the questions so guys if you like the video so press the like button and don't forget to subscribe it because you will be keep updating yourself in every week possible now let's start from the first question the question is asked what is mean by the power of accommodation of the eye? So, uh, this we have studied in the earlier video that what do we mean by the power of accommodation. So, let us draw a simple diagram. Let us suppose this is the eyeball. Then let us take this as eye lens then let us take this as ciliary muscle and this point and this point as retina now suppose a ray of light is coming this way and another ray of light is coming this way the uh, the image is formed in the retina that is why we are able to see each and everything now suppose uh, our and uh, and you know, need to know that our eye is capable of viewing each and everything far it doesn't matter if the object is far away from you or it doesn't matter if the object is near to you it can see both the objects at the same time so let us take this as a tree it is distant from this uh, from our eye and let us take this tree which is near to our eye now to see the far object our eye lens gets thin because of the ciliary muscle which helps our, uh, which stretch, stretches itself and helps our islands to stretch to become thin so that the uh, far object can be seen clearly and for the nearby object the ciliary muscle helps the lens to become thick and to view the nearby objects it gets easier when our eye lens gets thick enough to view the nearby objects. Now, what we have to write in the answer section. So, the answer will be the ability of an eye to focus the distance and uh, distant object as well as nearby object on the retina on the retina by changing the focal length of the lens therefore the property is called how 
power of accommodation. Now the second question. In the second question it is said that a person with a myopia eye cannot see objects beyond 1.2 meter distinctly. What should be the type of corrective lens used to restore proper vision? As we know the person having myopia should have concave lens. Now what should be its power and the power should be in negative but what will be the number we have to find out. So. Let us check out some diagram. Let us take this as a normal eye. Normal eye having lens. The two rays coming inside and converging on retina and forming the image. This is the this is a normal eye. Now what will be the image in case of myopia? So let us take this as an eyeball again. This will be its lens. Now the rays coming in will converge in front of the retina. So this is the eye of a myopia person. Now to solve this problem we have to draw an eye again. This will be its lens. So to solve this problem we have to put a concave lens here so that the, uh, the eye will feel like the image is coming from a nearby point. Let us take this as a nearby point and we will have the image on its retina. Okay. Now what is its focal length the focal length is about 1.2 meter now focal length is uh, due to this uh, this is concave lens we have to put the power in negative which is 1 minus 1.2 meter which is equal to minus 120 centimeter so now the power will be 100 by focal length now 100 by focal length is minus 120 uh, so this minus will come up here this minus will come up here it will be about p is equal to minus 0 0.83 titer always remember the SI unit of power in case of lens is titer now the next question is Question number three, it is asked about what is uh, what is the far and the near point of the human eye with normal vision. So we have studied earlier that the near point of a human eye is 25 centimeter. Closer than 25 centimeter will not we will not be able to see the image it will cause strain to our eye and our eye will pain now what is the far point the far point of any uh, of any eye is infinity because our eye is able to see objects as far as they are Moving on to the next question which is number 4. Here it is asked that a student has difficulty reading the blackboard while sitting in the last row. What could be the defect of the, ch uh, the defect child is suffering from? How could it be corrected? So well, let us take this as a blackboard and the student these are the rows the students are sitting now let us take this as a last row so the student is sitting here and he is not able to view what is written on the blackboard so it does mean that the student is not able to see the far object 
which means the student has myopia so we got the defect he has it is also known as near or short sightedness now how can it be corrected now let us take this as an eyeball this is a lens so we know that the image formed in a myopia eye is in front of retina so in case to solve this problem we have to push the image to the retina that is why we use a concave lens which allows the uh, image of the object to flow through, uh, to the retina so that the person is able to view the image of the object and always remember the size should be of the focal length the student wants or the student has so thank you guys here i complete the part two of the chapter the human eye and the colorful world the part two was all about the mid chapter questions hope you guys like the video and obviously to share with your friends if you find it useful thank you guys for watching the video see you in the next part which will be all about the exercise question stay safe guys